Edgar Allan Poe quotes. I became insane, with long intervals of horrible sanity. All that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. We loved with a love that was more than love. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things which escape those who dream only by night. I have great faith in fools, self-confidence my friends will call it. I was never really insane except upon occasions when my heart was touched. I have absolutely no pleasure in the stimulants in which I sometimes so madly indulge. It has not been in the pursuit of pleasure that I have periled life and reputation and reason. It has been the desperate attempt to escape from torturing memories, from a sense of insupportable loneliness and a dread of some strange impending doom. Believe nothing you hear, and only one half that you see. From childhood's hour I have not been. As others were, I have not seen. As others saw. I could not awaken. My heart to joy at the same tone. And all I loved, I loved alone. Sleep, those little slices of death how I loathe them. Years of love have been forgot, in the hatred of a minute. Never to suffer would never to have been blessed. Words have no power to impress the mind without the exquisite horror of their reality. All religion, my friend, is simply evolved out of fraud, fear, greed, imagination, and poetry. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. I wish I could write as mysterious as a cat. Deep in earth my love is lying and I must weep alone. And so being young and dipped in folly I fell in love with melancholy. It is by no means an irrational fancy that, in a future existence, we shall look upon what we think our present existence, as a dream. I felt that I breathed an atmosphere of sorrow. Beauty of whatever kind, in its supreme development, invariably excites the sensitive soul to tears. And all I loved, I loved alone. I have no faith in human perfectibility. I think that human exertion will have no appreciable effect upon humanity. Man is now only more active, not more happy, nor more wise, than he was six thousand years ago. Invisible things are the only realities. Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. The death of a beautiful woman is, unquestionably, the most poetical topic in the world. Science has not yet taught us if madness is or is not the sublimity of the intelligence. I remained too much inside my head and ended up losing my mind. With me poetry has not been a purpose, but a passion. There are some secrets which do not permit themselves to be told. I would define, in brief, the poetry of words as the rhythmical creation of beauty. I dread the events of the future, not in themselves but in their results. That which you mistake for madness is but an over-acuteness of the senses. Poetry is the rhythmical creation of beauty in words. To elevate the soul, poetry is necessary. It is a happiness to wonder, it is a happiness to dream. The boundaries which divide life from death are at best shadowy and vague. Who shall say where the one ends, and where the other begins? Now this is the point. You fancy me a mad. Madmen know nothing. But you should have seen me. You should have seen how wisely I proceeded. I intend to put up with nothing that I can put down. August 8, 1839 There are chords in the hearts of the most reckless which cannot be touched without emotion. Even in the grave, all is not lost. Yet mad I am not, 
and very surely do I not dream. Every moment of the night forever changing places and they put out the starlight with the breath from their pale faces.